He has he let has free the two, the two bodies, bodies of flowing, of flowing water, water, meeting together. together. Between, Between them, them is a barrier, is a barrier which they which do they not do transgress. Not transgress. The expression of the verse has a mind-blowing style. For the verse informs us that the seas do not mingle with one another despite all storms and huge waves. Yes, science confirms the verses of the Quran as it always has been and proves that it is the word of Allah. It is as follows. The French marine scientist, Captain Jacques Cousteau, who is famous for underwater research, explains the results of his investigations about water barriers as follows. We were investigating of some researchers' judgments that put forth that there were some barriers that separated different masses of the seas from each other. As a result of various studies, we saw that the Mediterranean Sea has a peculiar natural level of salinity and density. At the same time, it has specific life forms. Then we analyzed the mass of water in the Atlantic Ocean and saw that it was completely different than the Mediterranean Sea. However, these two seas, which merge at the Strait of Gibraltar, were supposed to be equal or at least near to equal in terms of salinity density and life forms that they had. However, these two seas have different structures even in places where they converge closely. Upon our investigations, we came across an event that amazed us. There was a great water curtain at the merging point that did not allow these two seas to mix. The same kind of water barrier was found by German scientists at Bab al-Mandab, where waters of Gulf of Aden and Red Sea converge in 1962. In our later investigations, we witnessed the existence of the same kind of barrier in all merging points of seas that have different characteristics. This amazing fact which amazed Captain Cousteau about the waters that do not mix up, though seas converge, is explained with the following verse in the Quran 14 centuries ago. He has, he let, has free let free the two, the bodies, two bodies of flowing, of flowing water, water, water meeting, meeting together. together. Between, Between them, them is a barrier, is a barrier which, which they, they do, do not transgress. Not transgress. Another kind of water barrier on Earth is seen at bays and deltas, where the freshwater rivers flow into the seas. Rivers that have the utmost possibility of mixing into one another because of their surface and bottom currents never mix with salty water in places where they fall into seas. If Allah did not put the law of not mixing up between these two waters, the freshwater rivers on Earth would mix up with the salty seawater, and the living creatures within them and their environments would be annihilated altogether. The Quran attracts attention to the miracle of this not mixing of these fresh and salty waters in another verse as follows. It is he who has let free the two bodies of flowing water, one palatable and sweet, and the other salt and bitter. Yet has he made a barrier between them, a partition that is forbidden to be passed. Yes, the fact that the seas do not mix with each other and the freshwater rivers do not mix with salty waters shows the infinite power of Allah. Its being expressed 1400 years ago in the Quran proves that the Quran is the word of Allah. For it is impossible to base this information on a man's personal discovery who lived at that age. It is also impossible to base it on all people's discovery who lived at that age. It is impossible for a man to discover and write a truth that science has discovered only in this age, on his own, 14 centuries ago. 
Therefore, the Quran cannot be the word of man. It is the pre-eternal word of Allah, who is the creator of lands and skies.